Hey, hey, I made a thing and uh, let me demonstrate first. So these are two very short rails that are driven by uh, two servo motors. And yeah, the range of movement you get is like 15 millimeters, but that should be enough to essentially do this. So this is um, the Warren Trident and I'm adding a lift bar here in the middle that lifts up a tool dock. And these two guys you just saw are these, these two things up here. So this is a lift bar, but a very simplified version. And it provides just enough movement to dock and undock the tool head that is sitting here. And uh, so I don't have a Trident myself, uh, but yeah, this is a proof of concept. And uh, let me know if this is useful or not. And the idea here is that this is like simple and cheap. You don't need extra steppers to drive the lift axis. And this is just two servos that can be run in parallel using the any servo pin or any like any digital out pin on the clipper would work as a servo pin. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, yeah, a few more things. So what I'm using here is, uh, yeah, these short rails are just the rails that you get for the Warren tap. So yeah, there you can get them for cheap already pre-made, like just 50 millimeter uh, rail and uh, the nine millimeter long version of the carriage, I guess. And yeah, so these are just some random Hobby King servos and they can push quite a bit of force. I don't know, order of 10 kilograms or so. Uh, so the accuracy is like half a millimeter plus minus, like good enough for a tool change. And yeah, so this should be a workable system. And uh, yeah, again, let me know if does this make sense to try to develop further. If yes, then I can like create an example config, but I will need someone to actually build this and try on a real Trident. Cool, so that's it for today. Let me know if this works.